Even a crawling baby can break a stick of broom, but the strongest of men cannot break a bunch of broom. That is the power of togetherness. We are as strong as we are united and as weak as we are divided. If only we can set aside the sentiments of politics, ethnicity, language, religion, upland and river and dichotomy and come together as rivers people, we shall live the rivers dream. Together, we shall flourish. Together, we can make it happen. We're greater together. My name is Daku Kupitiside. I'm a management scientist, politician, leadership trainer, and a scientist. I'm the first of four children, two boys and two girls. I had my primary education in many cities, and that gave me a cosmopolitan view of life. After my primary education, I got enrolled in Okrika Grammar School. When I left Okrika Grammar School, I ended up in University of Science and Technology admitted to study hematology in the Department of Medical Laboratory Sciences. I came back to the same university and a master's degree in business administration, proceeded to the University of Harcourt and a PhD in organizational behavior, specializing in corporate political strategy. I've been around centers of learning all over the world. I've been in Stanford, Harvard, Elog, Ellenborch, Galilee College, Georgia Tech in Atlanta. I've been around. I have this insatiable uh, quest for knowledge. I'm somebody who loves to drink from the fountain of knowledge. I'm married to a young dashing lady who is a lawyer but uh, who choose to do business, as to speak. And we have three lovely children and three other children. Three lovely children, two daughters, and a son. I'm a religious person, and so we have opportunity of praying together every morning, whenever they're around. And outside prayer, we hold family conversation, we discuss issues, like mates. We look at issues, they give me their opinion, I give them mine, I give them reasons behind my actions. At the end of the day, we'll build some understanding that there's a lot of bonding. In primary school, I was what is called school monitor. It's a child or a, a student in a curriculum at school. Some of these, my leadership qualities came to the fore. And so I was elected secretary of the prefectural council, the only elective position in the school system then. I was active in debating society, volleyball, football. That gives you an idea of the kind of person I am. Somebody who loves to engage, somebody who loves participation generally. When I got to the university, I was president, the National Union, National President rather, National Union of University Students in the University of Science and Technology. I instituted what is called not Senate. Um, we celebrated the 25th anniversary of the National Union of University Students. In that celebration, we honored the founding fathers I had contested and won as the president of my department, financial secretary of my faculty association, STESA. I was editor-in-chief of Campus Watch, the main campus magazine then. Again, that, that, that conveys a message about uh, my proactiveness and my involvement in public life. The pool in politics was so strong that you needed to be a steel man to extricate yourself from it. And so I got involved, and first in the NROC from the periphery, then the unregistered on Nigeria Congress. Ended up being the state financial secretary of Democratic Party of Nigeria, of General Abacha. Uh, all the five political parties were dissolved, DPN inclusive. A new political process started. And I and my colleagues moved to the People's Democratic Party. Um, I became the head of Restoration Youth. Eventually, Dr. Dele got elected as governor of River State. And in August of that year, I was appointed special assistant to the governor on uh, students and youth affairs. That was in 1999. And I did that work till 2002, when I was invited to go and serve as chairman of Opubun Koro local government area. In the short period I was in the local government, we demonstrated transparency throughout our period thereby letting the public know what we earn monthly or what we get from federation allocation monthly, how we spend this money. Then in terms of physical infrastructure, there was an uncompleted market, which within a short period we completed the market. 
There were two uncompleted outpost offices in the local government in two of the suburbs. We also completed those ones. There was a skill acquisition center in a place called Ankara. We paid some attention to that and completed that project. Then the big one is the council secretaries. We just didn't have an operational office. We were operating from an old district office and I thought I was wrong. So when we got to office, we initiated the process of uh, completing phase one of the local government council secretary. That was done under six months, including a legislative council. And I was celebrated in the state then. I can still, I remember it with nostalgia and I said to myself, oh my God, thank God for those little choices we made. The then governor, Dr. Billy Adili, gave me the sub request, the best local government ever in River State, which I cherish so much. I came back to Government House, now as Senior Special Assistant to the Governor and Works. Part of my assignment was to monitor projects. And I think I discharged that assignment to the best of my ability. We had professionals and we kept contractors on their tools in 2005. Some other interests caught my attention. I had earlier founded a non-governmental organization called Development and Leadership Institute. So I went back to rebuild my NGO, DLI. It was while serving at Development and Leadership Institute that uh, grooming young people, and young girls, young boys, and many of them, I'm proud to say, are making impact globally. You know, the value of life is not in wealth. And the true wealth is in people that you build. From the 2nd of November 2007, I became River State Commissioner for Works and we had a clear focus. We want to be sure that all parts of the state are connected by high quality roads and bridges and that we build infrastructure that would drive economic growth. That why I held forth in the Ministry of Works, uh, we completed in excess of 600,000 kilometers, um, rather 600 kilometer of roads in addition to our road network. Um, I thought we did very well. We built 15 bridges, within that short period of four years, and we didn't just build roads. We introduced something new and novel in terms of road building. In the city of Portacourt, we insisted that all our roads must have underground drains that are covered. All the roads we are building must have street lights. We dualized the major arterial roads, and so we are spared to go to the House of Representatives. And thank God, the good people of Andoni, Opuwa and Nkorok, which is my immediate constituency, elected me to, the go to, to go to the House of Representatives. We introduced the Petroleum Industry Bill as private member bill in our first weeks, six weeks. And we introduced a couple of other bills, including uh, stiffer punishment for small arms. I come from the Niger Delta, and it's particularly, the proliferation of small arms is particularly challenging in this area. And it's, people, it's something of great concern to my constituents who have paid very serious attention to that. The business, of lawmaking is to use the instrumentality of the law to bring changes to your people to ensure that they live life free of harassment, intimidation, and indeed to propel them to higher heights. If law does not cure a societal ill, solve problems, and help people live better, then it's not what it's after all. Aside from proposing five bills, we moved several motions. And um, by the end of our second year in the National Assembly, so many media organizations, so many NGOs had declared us the best legislator in the South-South. But that was not an issue for us. What mattered was the joy of our people, the happiness of our people.